back to my channel. Hopefully I can help you through AMP1 this time. So AMP1 I definitely felt like was a lot different than biology. So I, it took me, I kind of stumbled through it. I did maintain an A, um, but it definitely wasn't as smooth or as easy or um, maybe easy is not the word, but it took me a long time. I think a lot longer than I really needed to take to be able to um, finish this class. So I actually broke it down into five steps on how to pass uh, or hopefully ace your AMP1 class. So your first step is your lesson exams. Your lesson exams are worth 22% of each lesson exam. Each one is worth 22% of your overall grade. So they're worth almost as much as your proctor. Um, so you want to make sure you do really good in those because um, if you have a 95 versus a hundred, so if you do all 95s and all three of those versus a hundred and all three of those, you need um, it's like a 10% difference to maintain an A on the um, proctor. So 10% is a big deal. If you're striving for an A, you definitely want to keep your lesson exams as high as you can. And even if you just are just wanting to pass the class, which is completely fine, um, you definitely want to keep those lesson exams high because otherwise you're going to have to do better and better and better on your proctor to even pass the class. So they're open book. You can take as much time as you want. If you want to take three hours on the, on the test, take three hours on the test. Um, definitely just strive to do your best. So... Um, you know, make sure, double check all of your questions, double check all of your answers, make sure you get those really, really down. Um, step two is going to be to write down all of your lesson objectives. So in biology, I know that I told you guys to watch the biology proctor webinar because it has the, um, basically a study guide. Well, AMP doesn't have that. What AMP has is they have these learning objectives. I know it's going to be reversed on the screen, but learning objectives in the beginning of each chapter those these here in the beginning of each chapter those are what you're going to want to basically structure your studying off of so what i would do is write those all down give yourself plenty of space maybe just write each one each question on one sheet of paper so just write it at the top at the title go to the next one write another one because what you're going to do next um is not step number three is watch the webinars i think that um, with biology, I watch the webinars, but I watch them after reading the book and it seemed to work fine. But for anatomy, I was reading the book and then watching the webinars and kind of what I was running into is that there's so much information in anatomy and it's, some of it is really complicated and hard to understand that, um, what I was doing was I would start reading and I kind of would start to tune out what I was reading and I was reading the words and stuff, but it just wasn't computing in my mind and everything. So watching the webinars really helped me. Um, watching the webinars first, I should say. Watch the webinar first, then read the corresponding chapter. That really helped me put it into a kind of a real life, real world, like just made it make more sense and more understandable. And the professor is able to explain it to you. It's not as in detail as the textbook, but it'll at least give you a broad understanding of it. And then after the webinar, you can go back and read the chapter. And with that broad understanding, then you can get into the little minute details. That definitely is working a lot better for me in AMP2. Um, so number four is going to be study the answers for the objectives. So when you write each objective on each sheet of paper, you know, um, then when you watch the webinar, when you see something that corresponds with a question, go, oh, okay, I know I saw that lesson objective. Let me write these notes down. Um, you know, the professor's saying this about this. And so make sure you write those down and then go through the book, do the same thing and make a really good, you want about five sentences because the proctor could ask you for, I think it's up to five, five sentences. It's between like two to five sentences. So you wanna make sure you have the maximum amount of information, maybe not memorized. You don't necessarily have to have it memorized word for word, but you have to have a good understanding of it. So if they ask it, you're able to just jot it down. You've got it understood. Um, it's not like you're trying to come up with words to explain it in five sentences. So make sure you get each lesson objective down five sentences. Um, make sure you really understand it. Study those really well because those are um, those are going to be really helpful for you. Think of that as your study guide. So step five is to go through all of the questions on your proctor. When you take the proctor, make sure you go and go through all of the questions before you really start to get into detail because it's structured very similar to the biology where there's some questions that are worth more and some questions that are worth less. So 
regardless of that, make sure you get an answer on every question. So go through first, and it may, might take you the first 10 minutes. Go through first and look through all of the questions. Um, I can't remember exactly how many, maybe between 10 and 15 questions. That might be how many are on there. And make sure that you get at least a sentence in each one, or just even a word in each one, because you can get partial credit on these. So you wanna make sure you're using up all of that possibility to get a partial credit. Um, because what might happen is if you don't do that, you might work on the first five questions really hard and get really good answers on those, but then you start to run out of time and it turns out that there were four questions at the end that were super easy and would have taken you one sentence to write down, you knew it right away. Well, you're not going to get any credit for any of those four questions if you never get to them. So make sure you get to everything right away, right from the get-go, get to every question. Um, so hopefully that's helpful for you guys. If there's any other kind of information you'd like to know about any specific class, um, right now, I'm obviously only in AMP2, um, so anything up to AMP2, let me know. If there's different kind of videos you'd want to see, let me know, and I hope to see you back. Thank you.